fine how are you sir yeah i'm good so shall we start the class today so today we are going to see like a transmission tower how to create a transmission tower we will see first and later we will go for steel design for the tower can you able to see my screen yes sir okay so i'm just going for a new project with the space and then i can go for naming it transmission tower 1 and i'm just going for add beam method and i'm just going to finish it so i'm just going to make this as like a x comma z plane so x z plane i'm just going for edit x z plane and click okay and now i'm just going to uh, draw something like this escape and you can use the snap node beam so snap node beam okay now i am going to just cut and paste this beams actually so control x and then control v at the distance of like in y i am just going to put 6 meters i am just going to click okay and this one i am just going to select using control holding control x and then control v with the distance of 12 meter and this one so control x so control v i am just going to put 18 meters okay now i am just going to uh, select this actually control c and then control v and i am just going to put a like a um, so 3 meter first from that area and again control v at a 6 meters okay so totally it is like having like a 666 and also like 624 now so this supposed to be 27 so select control x and control v and then 27 so now we got like this now so here we can able to just go for like this uh, add beam method and you can able to select like this no and you can go for this kind of bracings okay now we can able to see how we have created this is what our structure now i'm just going for top view and i'm just going to have a one node here for example i'm just going to have a node here so based on that we are just going to translational repeat so translational repeat what these things so hold control while selecting and then i am just going for uh front view or uh, this view uh and then you can hold control and then select these also so totally we have selected now i am just going to circular repeat so circular repeat in a y direction and we can able to select the node this node we have to select and i am just going to so have a number of steps four and i am just click okay so now can you able to see that then we can able to so like there is the node over here and uh, like uh, now here this beams not needed so i can able to select the beams over here and we can able to go for deleting it now this is what the transmission tower so in 3d view we can able to see so like this you can able to create whatever the tower in whatever the way but the circular repeat is the easy way for a transmission towers so now we have created this tower now i am just going for so general support pixel support and i'm just going for select the nodes over here and i'm just going to assign to selected node now i'm just going for property in property i'm just going for section database 
So as it is like a steel structure, we need to go for section database. So here you can able to select the sections that we do have like American or uh, British or Indian, whatever it is. So now I'm just going to take a Indian, for example, I'm just going to take a So I sections, okay, and I'm just going to take this one. I'm just going to add it, and uh, I'm just going to assign to view. Now we can able to see that. So this is what our structure looks like. So if you want angle, also you can choose the angle, or C channel or something like that. Now we can just uh, go for uh, loads and definition and I'm just going for uh, wind load. So wind definition, so add it. And I'm just going to put the calculate as per ASCE and uh, we can able to select the data over here and it will calculate accordingly. So like 2010 or 2002 version or a classification category you can able to choose from it. So building structure, which, which kind of structure it is. Like this is like a, a chimney, tank and similar structures or a trust tower. So this we can go for chimney, tank and similar structures. And I'm just going to select some exposures. Consider wind speed over hills or like a escape escarpment. So if it is like that, you can go for yes, otherwise put no. And I'm just going for main building data, press apply first. So after applying it, then we can go for, so changing the height, uh, like uh, height of the chimney like that. Here we have 27 meter now. So we can able to put 27 into 3.28. So we can able to take 90 square feet. So 90, okay, otherwise we can directly go for meter and then we can go for 27. So least to horizontal dimension. So I'm just going to put a 10 meter. So horizontal cross section type. So we can go for square, no? it is in square shape. Wind normal to face or wind along diagonal, we can able to select. And I'm just going to apply. So the same pressure, it is going to take as it is. So these are all the value we are going to get. Apply and then okay. Now we have got that and we can able to add it and factor of safety, like exposure, we can go for one. And this we can able to assign to view. Okay, and after we can go for load cases, add, for example, I'm just going for date load first. So, and then live load. Otherwise for this, I'm just going to consider only the date and wind load. So date load, I'm just going to add one, assign to view and the wind load, I'm just going to put wind load in X direction, I'm just going for one. So this one, it is like a zero and then 27. No? So we can just go for 27 maximum and I'm just going for close it. So can you able to see that like a wind is acting uh, towards this junction. Okay, so totally we are getting like this, our wind load. Now we can just go for uh, analysis and print and all, I'm just going to add it. Now I'm just going for analyze, run analysis. So 
so now we have got zero error zero warning one note we can go for output file and it is like uh, uh, that is okay it results applied reaction loads so we are getting this kind of uh, applied uh, reaction loads okay now we can just go for design and then i'm just going for steel design so steel design today we are going to start with and i'm just going to take a is 800 first is 800 and then i'm just going for select parameter so in that i'm just going to take a, a yield strength of steel and then i'm just going for so now only the yield strength i'm just going to consider if you want anything else you can able to take actually from here okay allowable shear stress like that now i'm just going to click ok and i'm just going for yield strength of steel 25 okay i'm just going for 250 fe 250 scale now i'm just going to close it and then now uh, i'm just going to assign to view now i'm just going for command i'm just going for check code check code command and then fixed group so check code in the sense check the adequacy of members based on specification of the desired code this command has no additional parameter and fixed group the specific grouping will be retained in memory by the program and will be used in subsequent member select operation so the results of the grouping will not seen unless a select member operation is performed so we don't have any group now so we no need to go for it so member takeoff i'm just going to add select select least weight section size based on specification of the desired code so the selection is done using the result from the most recent analysis so this is like it will select some uh, additional uh, like uh, uh, sections so that's why it has select optimized and then take off of that also okay now so here we have everything so check code i'm just going to put as interview member take off as interview so still take off as interview okay so this is what the steel design that we have done analysis your model contains instruction for member or a member selection optimization and grouping. These are not followed by instruction for reanalysis. Consequently, the analysis result will not be consistent with the new member's property. Do you want to proceed? So otherwise, we can just go for that also, like commands and then the fixed group. So add it, group also, like property, like we can go for none actually. group member assigned to view. Now I'm just going for analysis. So it is asking the same now. So do you want to proceed? You put yes. So we don't have errors, but we have warnings. We will see what are those warnings. Like uh, the section of member is slender according to class. So it is like uh, all section is like showing slender because it is like a very small section that I have taken. We will see the results it's to steel design. So we are getting steel takeoff. See, this is like a steel takeoff of our profiles. So how much is the length and how much is the weight and totally how much like 1.4 uh, uh, tons of uh, steel we have needed. So now I'm just going to close it and we are going to see whether it is pass or fail. So steel design and it is like it is like pass only. Close. And here we can able to see the result. It is like a pass. Okay. And we can able to see select and then by specification and then we can go for all failed beams. No failed beams for the steel design calculation. We don't have any fail. Actually everything got passed. So that you can able to see from here. So the values and everything. So, okay, FX and M is that MY values. Okay, and then we can go for deflections. So we load how much the deflections and everything. 
shear bending and all those things. I'm just going for post processing mode. And now we can go for reactions as usual. And we can able to see the reaction values. So this one, this one, this one, and also this one. So displacement. So this is what the displacement actually as per our load actually. Okay. As we have uploaded only in a positive X wind direction. So that's why here it is the displacement. And uh, we can just go for beams and we can able to see the see their uh, moments and everything. And stresses, utility check. So we can able to see the failed members here. If uh, in utility uh, unity check, and uh, unity check, we can able to go for uh, failed members, and we can able to see here, and we can able to see their properties from here. Okay, and then the graphs, and animation deflection. So this is what the deflection we are going to get. Deflection and displacement. So that is also in the same uh, deflection where the deflection, the sectional displacement also. So, so like this, you can able to go for steel design. Okay, now I'm just going for a steel design like a, like add on. I'm just going for steel design over there. Okay, now I am just going for a so new envelope. So I'm just going to select a both. Okay, and I'm just going to click OK. And uh, I'm just going for member design. And uh, I'm just going for auto form member, physical members, and then go for auto form members. So it will form like all the members automatically then you can just go for uh, briefs and group you can go for new brief and uh, design brief one and we can able to select the code is 800 and the yield strength and everything so these are all the select uh, set the uh, parameter list so and then just going to click ok so i'm just going for new design group here i'm just going to add one group and then to the group i'm just going to consider all the member okay now i'm just clicking okay and after a uh, new brief or new design uh, okay now i'm just going for this uh, results and report okay now i'm just going for so i'm just going for a check code perform group design check code so it is checking actually group design completed successfully and it is like a showing you the pass or fail. So everything we see, we already like done the, that kind of analysis in uh, there itself now. So there we are getting everything is passed. Here also we will get the same. So depends on the load, we will get this uh, pass or uh, something like that. And if it is like a fail, we can just go for member design and then go for uh, single step design or multiple step design. So it will uh, again analysis and it will show you the design sections. So original section is something different. So it will give you the design section if it is like a fail. Now we got pass, so that's why it is showing as it is. So like this, you can able to go for steel analysis, like a steel codes, a steel design in Star Pro. So this tab we can able to use, otherwise we can able to use in modeling itself. So this design, this steel. So you can able to double click and we can able to see the steel design. The same we can able to see here also. Okay.
So are you okay with this uh, transmission tower still design? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So any of you going to try this now? Yeah. Ah, okay. Then I will stop share.